What is an Arduino? Well, in front of me here, I have an older model, the 2009 model, Dewey Mila Nove. That's Italian for 2009. Uh, it's an older model, still a good one. This one here is the newer version, the Arduino Uno uh, breadboard. This actually comes in a kit. I will actually do a review on that uh, at a later date. Uh, it came with a lot of stuff that you can start working with the Arduino right off the bat. This is the Ethernet shield for the Arduino. And the nice thing about these is with the header pins, they can plug right into each other and you can just keep stacking and stacking. Uh, Arduinos came out about 2005. Uh, it's not really the board itself. This is not really an Arduino. Uh, it's an Atmega microcontroller placed on a board that's designed specifically plug and play. Uh, you can just start making projects from it. Uh, whether you get the shields to plug in or pin it over to your breadboard. Uh, it was designed to provide an inexpensive and easy way for hobbyist students and professionals to create devices uh, that interact with their environment. Uh, it's completely open source, open hardware, uh, software you can get it in source form or you can get the IDE uh, downloaded from Arduino's website. Uh, boards can come pre-assembled like these ones are or you can get kits where you can actually solder the pins in, uh, the larger components, uh, the microcontroller harness. Uh, you can get them fairly cheap in a kit, uh, especially if they're not Arduino, if they're not the brand. Uh, about twenty thirty dollars or so for the for the pre-made ones. Uh, I got the the two thousand and nine model from Spark Fun. Uh, Amazon has some of them uh, as low as eight nine dollars that are not the brand Arduino. Uh, and the kits you can get for right around the same price. Uh, the Arduino it's a single board microcontroller. Uh, and the microcontroller is right there. Uh, it's a Mega AVR series uh, at Mega 8, at Mega 168, which the Dewey Milanova has, the at Mega 328, which the Uno has, uh, even at Mega 1280s, at Mega's 2560s. Uh, the Arduino has a USB interface. Uh, it has six analog pins and 14 digital I.O. pins. Um, I'll put up a, a breakdown of that uh, in the video here. Um, six of those 14 pins uh, can produce pulse width modulation signals. Uh, allows the user to interact with various interchangeable add-ons, um, namely these shields. Uh, most of these shields are individually addressable via the I squared C serial bus. Uh, so these can be stacked and stacked and stacked uh, multiple, multiple times with many different shields. Uh, you have the Ethernet shield, you can get a Wi Fi shield, GPS shields, motor controller shields, relay shields, and pretty much anything that you could think of for an electronics project. Somebody will build a shield that you can plug into the Arduino. Uh, the headers, uh, they're female. 0.10 inch, uh, 2.5 millimeter, uh, and that's the headers. Uh, Arduino has a number of facilities for communicating with computers, another Arduino, or other microcontrollers. Uh, microcontrollers pre program with a bootloader, uh, simplifies uploading of programs uh, to the on chip flash memory. Uh, compared with other devices uh, like PEC basic stamps, you need an external programmer. Arduino boards can be programmed over the USB uh, over an RS-232 serial communication, implementing 
Uh, and it's implemented using the USB to serial adapter chips. Now the Dewey Milanove. Uh, the specs on that, uh, it like I said, it runs an Atmega 168 microcontroller. Uh, 5 volt operating voltage, input volts between 7 and 12, input voltage limits is 6 to 20 volts. Uh, it has 14 digital I.O. pins, uh, 6 provide pulse modulation output. Analog input pins, it has 6 of those. Uh, DC current per input output pin is 40 milliamps, DC current for 3.3 volt pins. 50 milliamps. The flash memory on this is 16K. Uh, that's for the Atmega 168, which this is. Uh, if you have the Atmega 328 with 32K, uh, 2K is used by the bootloader. Uh, the SRAM or static random access memory is 1K for the Atmega 168, 2K for the Atmega 328. Uh, EEPROM or the electrical, erasable, programmable, read-only memory. It's 512 bytes for the Atmega 168, 1 kilobyte for the Atmega 328. Clock speed, 16 megahertz. Now the Arduino Uno, uh, the microcontroller is the Atmega 328. Voltage 5 volts, input voltage recommended is 7 to 12 input voltage limits 6 to 20 volts it's again has 14 digital I.O. pins 6 of which uh, pulse with modulation 6 analog input pins DC current per I.O. pin is 40 milliamp uh, the DC current for 3.3 volt pin 50 milliamps it has 32 kilobytes uh, flash memory uh, half a K used by the bootloader. Uh, the static random access memory is 2K. Uh, the electrically erasable programmable read only memory is 1K. And it has the same clock speed at 16 megahertz. The Arduino comes with a simple downloadable cross-platform integrated development environment. It's written in Java allows the user to write programs for the Arduino in C or C++ code. Uh, the code you write in C, uh, C++, it's the syntax but not a valid C, C++ program. Uh, when it compiles an extra include header at the top and very simple main function at the bottom uh, makes it a valid C program to the Arduino. Uh, the IDE is derived from the uh, same IDA for IDE from the processing programming language and the wiring development platform uh, contains a C C++ library called wiring and uh, wiring is based on the work done on process on the processing project in MIT uh, the wiring IDE uses the GNU toolchain uh, AVR libc to compile the programs uh, and uses AVR to upload the programs to the board. You can actually program the Arduino in standard C using AVR Studio and upload with uh, AVR Dude. And I'll actually insert an image here in the video. Uh, programming in the Arduino ID, it's as simple as creating two functions. A setup function, uh, it runs once at startup. You can use it to define initial environment settings and then a loop function and that function uh, calls repeatedly until the board's powered off uh, so with just two simple functions and see uh, you can get the get the board to do pretty much whatever you want uh, and again it's gonna it's gonna put a, a C header and a, uh, a main a main function into the program and that'll make it a legitimate C program we have hundreds of tutorials in mind for the Arduino development platform. Uh, so many kits with different sensors. Uh, some circuits we just like to build ourselves. Uh, we'll begin producing them soon, so keep checking back. Uh, if you want to get started right now with the Arduino, uh, check out the, the official Arduino site at arduino.cc. Don't forget to check out the Arduino Playground. It has tons of information to get you started. 
Uh, so many people use the Arduino. Uh, it's the new pick, new basic stamp. Um, those are good fun to play with, and we'll do some tutorials on pick and basic. Uh, but the Arduino, for the ease of use, you just can't beat it. Uh, but yeah, keep checking back here. We're going to have, like I said, hundreds of Arduino tutorials coming up uh, from beginner to advanced uh, ideas of what you can do to make some really cool, really highly functioning uh, pieces of hardware that runs off of your own software. So thanks for checking us out. Check back soon. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.